welcome to the 35th episode of the Rule of Two here on the State Cinema Reviews channel. And today, today, as always, I have with me Mi Sasista. Yeah. Jazz. Jazz, we are excited today because we have a break, breaking news this week. For once, we are not, you know, a week behind. Um, on the news, at least. And today, our topics are... Well, if you don't know, hey, George Lucas. Hey, J.J. Abrams. Hey, Benny Offenweiss. Hey, me. And the dead girl. Um, it's so nice to have you guys back. This is obviously a Star Wars show. And today, we have official Star Wars news of a brand new... Uh, well, let's, let's read the whole thing here. Um... Bob Iger announced today that Lucasfilm is in development, or not today, but, you know, I'm reading the article from uh, StarWars.com. Uh, they're develop developing a second Star Wars live-action series for Disney+, Plus, the, uh, you know, streaming service. Is that what it's called? Disney+, Plus. yes. Oh. Uh, the series, which will go into production next year, follows the adventures of Rebel Spy, Cassian Andor during the forma uh, formative years of the Rebellion and prior to the events of Rogue One obviously um, Diego Luna will reprise the role of Andor uh, he said that going back to the Star Wars universe is very special obviously um, and some more stuff um, <laughs> the rousing sp spy thriller will explore tales filled with espionage and daring missions to restore hope to a galaxy in the grip of a ruthless empire. A release date for the series has not yet been announced. Stay tuned to StarWars.com for the latest updates. So, so, that is our first topic. Doozy. Our second topic is Ian McDermott tweeted out... Who one, is? Who played Palpatine, the only person to play Palpatine uh, in live action form, tweeted out, Palpatine... Question mark. That was it. Ooh. Palpatine? Question mark. He tweeted that out, and that is our second topic. We're, you know, definitely seeing, uh, doing a lot of speculation here, a lot of speculation. But uh, that's, you know, at this, at this quote unquote dry time in Star Wars, as far as the huge dry. stuff, as far as the big stuff, um, you know, this is great news. This mm -hmm. is great news. So let's start off with Cassian Andor is back in a new live action series. Going into production next year, right? So The Mandalorian is in production now. Next one's going into production next year. First of all, I want to ask you, will they do one live action series a year? Uh... If The Mandalorian comes out next year, and then this one goes into production next year, then presumably that this one would come out, out 2020? <clears throat> uh, I guess that would be fine. But I wouldn't mind it if they... Doubled up. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't mind right, it. Right, right. Of course. More Star Wars. More Star Wars. The more, better. This, this to me, is grown up resistance. Right. They could have one uh, summer, one winter. Just the win them up. I feel because like because I don't think they're gonna go like. I do feel 24 like twenty four. But the winter to me, I feel like is movies. But they're not gonna have a movie in twenty twenty. The Benioff and Weiss thing probably will be. Really? They I gotta know. start like now. Yeah, that, like, get the well, director once, write the script. Once like... Game of Thrones is done, they're going to start that, and Game of Thrones has been in production, so I'm assuming yeah, they already wrapped up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're just going through post, right? They're editing and getting all the the stuff done for that. Once they're done with that, that mean then they're going into production, right? So it's not saying like once the series has aired, because they're gonna be working on it while the series is airing. Uh-huh. Like, for once, they're, once they are done with it, right? Once they've, everything is done and it's sealed up tight in the vault that it, you know, in the vaults below K uh, King's Landing, once they're done with that, like, completely done, then they're going to move on to their movies. I think earliest we get it, 2021. Oh, uh, um, this? Uh, or no, Benny Offenweiss? Benny Offenweiss. Okay, Weiss. okay, yeah. That's, but this, I'm very happy for. This will definitely hold us over, though. Cassian is my favorite character in the new sort of regime. In the of, Disney universe. Yes. In the Disney Star Wars. In the Disney universe. Yes. He's my new 
Favorite or, character? Yeah, my favorite new character. Favorite new character. That they've introduced. Yes. So I'm super excited. This is uh-huh. like the best early Christmas gift I could ever get. And it's, it's going to be around news. It's, espionage it's great and news. daring missions. Yeah, like I said. It's going to be like Rogue One, like mini Rogue Ones. I'm so but excited. But happy endings. Yeah, because he won't die because we know he can't right. die. Right. Um... The good, the to me. This is my jam. Me, I'm gonna yes. live for this. Yeah. To me, this is grown up resistance, right? Resistance is a story of a spy, right? Who's got to f- do some spying stuff. Yeah, but he's like a for real like. Exactly. Knows what that's he's that's doing. what I'm saying. Resistance yeah. is for the kids, and this one is for us. Like, this, this one is, is what Kaz grows into. This one, no. Maybe like mm, if he does get better. Mm, I hope he dies. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. But they're not going to do that because Dave Filoni can't kill anybody. It's you not hear Dave me? Filoni's... You hear me? You hear me, you guys? You tell him I said that. You you challenge him. You challenge him. JJ, you know how to kill people. JJ, you challenge him. Next time you see him, say, hey, uh, when is anybody going to die? You know, old age, anything. Just somebody's got to bite the butt dust, right? Uh, that's not his show, so. Uh... Yes, it is. I don't think he's running anything. What do you think he's doing? Clone Wars? He's got one season. Clone Wars? He's got one season. He's the running... The Mandalorian? N- one episode. Bro's busy. One episode. He's, he's still he's... probably helping writing them. Uh, helping writing. They, they've already done... Uh, they've already done uh, with the writing process on that Words. show. Anyway. Yeah. No, I don't think he's anything okay. a part of that. Let's not talk about yeah. that. We're on to this. Cassian Andor is back. So, 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 <laughs> so. K2? Yeah. I want, I, personally, I don't want them to do the, the uh, Han Solo thing and show us how he got K2. They're definitely going to... Who gonna, are you they, equating K2 to? Chewie. Oh, I love that, though. That was one of my favorite parts. How they how they got together, that was one of my favorite parts. I would not mind if they showed it to me, but if they didn't, I wouldn't mind. 100%. I mean, I wouldn't, like, care. 100% they are going to show you it. 100%. He's going to start off by himself, and he's going to get K2, and then it's going to be a holly jolly thing. You know what I'm saying? 100%. And they can get back what's his Lucas, name. What? I'd be so happy. Yeah, Alan Tudyk? Yeah. Of course. Um... 100% they're going to show you that meeting and that, you know, Good. how they got together. Because Lucasfilm, at least the Disney Lucasfilm, really hasn't, you know, they haven't done what George did, which was toss you into things, you know? Just like oh, sure. throw you into stuff. In the middle. Right. They, they, they're not, they haven't done it yet, right? They haven't done it yet. So, um, they're, they're, they're really, you know, they want to like... They want to show you everything. Like, that's, in my opinion, this is very small tangent. Han Solo showed us everything in his backstory. Literally everything. Yeah. Right? Um, so, I hope this one isn't like that, where we're going to start, like, Young Man Ca- or, uh, uh, Cassian. Because, what, what did he say? He started fighting when he was nine? Six. Six. I hope, I hope the show isn't, like, first episode, like, first ten minutes of it is He's him six. at six. No, uh, because because well, like that, it's just, he was a separatist. It's good backstory, right? You know, it's it's just good backstory for him to be. Um, no, they're not gonna waste Diego for like him. That. Yeah, it's good backstory for him to have that and not to show it because it's like it's something that the character can always reminisce about. You know, he Honestly, really doesn't get that childhood. The less children we have in movies in Star and shows, Wars, except for Broom Boy. I still hold out for Broom broom Boy. No, the less children we have in movies and shows, the happier I will be. Uh, I get it. Their acting is suspect at best. I get it. I get it. So, I don't want to see no kid. If it was like for, let's say the opening. Therefore. It's a cold, we'll put it this, we'll put it like this. Uh, How would you feel about this? Opening of the show called, uh, you know, pre-Rogue One. (laughs) <laughs> uh, for the first, we'll Rogue go. Zero. We'll go five to ten minutes. First five to ten minutes. It's a cold open. No big fanfare thing. Cold open. Six year old Cassian, Empire just started messing with his with him or with his family. Right, he got to go fight. Six years old. 
five to ten minutes showing how he joined the rebellion by fighting the empire, you know, by joining the rebellion somehow. Ten minutes, then boom, uh, pre Rogue One fanfare thing. What do you think about that? And then the rest of the show is all grown up, Cassian. I guess so, but I don't like it. It wouldn't. You don't think you don't think it would work though, as like a cold open, yeah, I just guess like it would work, but bam, show you where this character came from. Like one of the greatest shows of all time, Daredevil, gave us that backstory. Not like that, but gave us the throughout backstory the, of the little the Daredevil, young young Matt, and. I love that and show. And never once mentioned his I mother. hate that part. I hate it. Okay. I hate the little kid stuff. No. Give mm-hmm. me Diego Luna. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah. And K2, it's I like, want that. It's... I, I totally get what you're going for, or what you want, and I think that if I were to write the show, thankfully I'm not, if I were to write the show or, you know, be a showrunner, I would definitely not show his backstory because I feel like backstory is something that is way more intriguing for us to find you know little tidbits about and then us just let the audience it, let their imagination run wild and we did it. get a little and you got a little bit in of that the book right in the book and with rogue one in the book it talks about him you know they were separate right, in rogue one he just says that he's he talks been about he's, he's been fighting since he was six yeah. Yeah. So I like if I were doing it, I would not do like flashbacks or anything like that or jumps in time, um, like that. It would just like backstory. Backstory is for the audience to get through small lines of dialogue and for them to come up with uh, with their imagination, which is why the original trilogy is so great because they're not like, let and now we'll show you the Clone Wars, you know. Right. Um, no, but I like this because he's definitely yeah. an anti-hero. It's great. Like, yes, you're. It's the de- you're definitely gonna get some gray areas in here. Yeah. Spy and espionage is not gonna be your daddy's. Uh, your daddy's 007 out here. It's gonna be. It's gonna be some some morally yeah. gray areas. Yeah, which I like. And mm-hmm. and Diego's a great actor, and I'm so excited to see more of him in yeah. the Star Wars universe. Yeah, definitely. This guy's gonna be playing Scarface. In an upcoming Scarface uh, remake, mm-hmm. and he's gonna get his own show. I'm telling you guys, the the Star Wars universe af post Episode Nine looks really good. Yeah, he. If you watch the behind the scenes for Rogue One, Kathleen Kennedy speaks so highly of Diego mm-hmm. Luna, and he's like, probably a super fan. Well, yeah, and in like. And now, his home country of Mexico, yeah. he's directed like tons of movies, and like he's, he's a really he's, big he's a, deal. He's, listen, big deal. <laughs> yeah, he's a big deal. So I'm glad that they're getting more of him. Yeah, and and like like you know the whole diversity thing, uh, like you know, the it's great. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely. It's it's great not just to hire a, uh, you know. Someone, be diverse for diversity. Exactly. Sake. You're. You're. It's not a diversity he's hire. There because he's qualified. He was great in Rogue One, right? Yeah. He was great in that movie, and like he's. This is. This is great. Yeah. This is. I. I like. There's gonna be people out there who are going to do the whole. Oh my goodness! Just get away from the Empire. Let's learn about the First Order. It's like okay, that's probably what the Mandalorian. You're definitely gonna get some First Order in the Mandalorian. If it's even if it's very small, you're gonna get some in that. So calm down. First order is big bad guys for the saga. Okay, that there you go. Mm-hmm. There's your first order. Uh, crunchy nuggets, right? Crunchy. I crunchy nuggets. nuggets. <laughs> crispy, crispy. There's your first order crispy nuggets to have. This stuff is empire, but more importantly, it is. I guarantee you that it is going to show us a darker side to the the Star Wars universe. And I'm not talking about dark side. I'm talking, you know, filthy, grimy, sometimes right. making the very tough decisions. And remember, this is because Scarif was their first win. The first rebel so win. So before this, Cassian can have little wins. Small like wins, yes. Information, bits and pieces here. But it's mostly going to be him. Like, there's not going to be big wars yeah. and big wins it's, for him. It's classic spy stuff where it's like, when, you know, you hear about real spies in the real world, sometimes they're undercover for years. Yeah. Like, that That could be like, amazing. If, if you guys have ever seen The Americans, like, 
you know, you can spend years building up your cover and you've got to be so careful because literally one little detail can bust you. Like one detail can give you away to your opponent. And that would be so cool to see him be going undercover in the Empire and then just like, you know, have that tension. He that tension. In uniform. Exactly. You can have that tension that he's, you know, that he is like, he's one, he's always one miss, miss word away. He's always right. one step away so, from being caught. Because this is in that period where there are, is no winning mm -hmm. for them. I think this is just going to be really, like, deep in the, like, trenches. Like, right. he's really, like, it's going to be rough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be hard for them. And yeah. when he does get a win, that's it's going to feel great. All right. So, in this official uh, Star Wars um, thing on StarWars.com, there's nothing officially saying anybody else. Right. It's just, it's just Diego Luna as Cassian. He tweeted um, out, so... He tweeted it out. It's all good. So, like, it's it's 100% confirmed. Let's speculate now. Do you think we will see any of the Rogue One uh, guys, um, any villains? What what Will we be going for Krennic? Will we be going just for kind of, you know, sticking it to the Empire in small ways? I don't want Krennic. I don't think he should be mm -hmm. in there. I don't care about him. I would love... And also, like, how are they going to get... What's his name? Uh, Mendelssohn? Ben? Not... No, uh, no, not Ben. That's not him. Um, uh, whatever his oh, name is. We um, will look that up right now. I don't think... I don't know. I mean, like, I guess he's a popular actor, but... I don't want to see him. No. Really? I think the only person Yeah, Ben I... Mendelssohn. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Ben the only Mendelsohn. person you want to see return is Alan Tudyk as K2, obviously. Yes. Um, uh, who else was on that crew? Uh, we could get some more Saw Gerrera. That would be pretty cool. Eh. Because in Rogue One, um, in Rogue One, like, it, they definitely, it seemed like they, they know about Saw Gerrera, and maybe they've tried going after Saw Gerrera to, like, get some information on the empire but you never know maybe never that could know. be like a season I would highlight to bring Ma in like you could bring Boris in Whitaker. mon mothma yeah. you could you could do a lot of stuff within the rebellion right He's definitely... you could even get some holograms of leia if you know if you wanted to go down that route but if they didn't i would ne i would never be like you should have brought in leia you know what i'm saying no no i don't think we need any of the ogs yeah um, I think I think that um, like Diego Luna and Alan Tudyk as K2SO and Cassian Andor, clearly they're gonna be in it. Um, if Ben Mendelsohn returns as Orson Krennic, I would I would be all for it. Um, I don't think we'll ever see Vader. No, no. I don't think we'll ever see Vader. It would be pretty awesome though. Well, actually, we'll talk about we'll talk about Ian McDermott later on. Let's do some speculating there. No, I think they're going to keep it real small. I would love that. Maybe, I, I mean, we don't even know if Alan Tudyk is coming back, He's, but it's he, gotta be. he feels like such a fanboy in and of himself he, that hopefully he'll come back. He's definitely coming back. But I think of the Rogue One crew, those are the only two who should come back. Right. For me, anyway. Yeah, like you would, you, I would obviously love to see like cheer it. Uh, and Baz yeah, Malba's but... bag, but like they're on Jetta, they they get they're doing their own thing, you know. This guy, this guy's gonna be going around the galaxy. He's gonna be spying it up, 007 style. It's gonna, oh man, this this is very exciting for me, just because of how how good one, how good Rogue One is, two, how good uh you know Diego Luna is as his character. We're obviously gonna get some K two in there. And, like, let's just be honest, it would be, it's going to be very interesting and very cool to see a live-action Star Wars thing that, you know, I, I guarantee you we're not going to get any lightsabers, which is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, The Mandalorian, you could get some, you could get some weird stuff in there. Sure. I'm way more excited for this than I am The Mandalorian. Really? I think yes. it's close for me. I think it's very close. I still... No. I still... I'm such a Cassie Nandor fan that yeah. like 
Yeah. He, he's at the I very get it. Like, I get top. it. Yeah. It's 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 a great it's a gr- like uh, like like I said, um everything that is not the saga right now and like episode 9, I believe, you know, we'll 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 get that it you know i hope it's going to be great and everything i i want it to be great i i believe that it can be great um but it looks it looks like lucasfilm by maybe taking a back seat with the movies can focus on storytelling that is um spread out Mm -hmm. you know over this time and 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 can be just as good yeah just as good but I mean, if 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 we get a movie every two years, but every year we got one TV series, I'm totally cool. If we got two, I dan you know yeah. dancing in the streets. <clears throat> yeah, I this... just you know I just want it to be. I want them to take their time. Yeah, I don't want them good. to you know churn them out like you know like newspapers, just one right after the other. <laughs> I feel like you should take your time, make them good. Obviously, you got to have a bigger budget. Um. But I think it's I think Star. But I think this has such potential yes. to be like so much. What fun. I've wanted, like sort of an underground group of people who like. You have wanted this. Yes, she I've, has wanted this. I've been telling you like for Penny a long time. <laughs> I just want like a crew of like people who just go out and do the dirty work, mm-hmm. you know. And if Cassian is our leader in that crew, oh, I'm here for oh, it. Oh, absolutely. So. And we're we're definitely gonna get some some uh some rebellion people yeah uh i think that uh also can i just say that yeah, like yeah, yeah aside like i know i just said that cassian and k2 are the only ones that i mm-hmm. really need to be in the show if mon moth make mon mothma mon mothma yes makes an appearance of course that's it's, totally fine great go for that yes because it would make sense yeah absolutely maybe even bail Ma- Mo. No. Maybe even Bale. What's his name? My man, uh, Jimmy Smith. Is that his name? Jimmy where is Smith? it? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Uh, where, where is he? Jimmy. I don't know. His name is Jimmy, though. I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's Smith. Uh. Bale or Ghana. Bale or Ghana. Where's? Hold on. Need Hold to on. Be. Ba ba, where are you, Bale? Oh, there he is, Jimmy, Jimmy Smith. Smith. Yeah, I'm telling, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If oh, but that's so heartbreaking. That's Every time so I see good. him, I'm just like, no, yeah, why? yeah. Don't go back. We to- could get like some some of uh, the Mon Calamari, Admiral Radis, maybe. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. there, like, there is, there are definitely cells. Of uh, rebellion uh, or re- rebel cells all around the galaxy. Jimmy Smith has just like aged so well, so well. for that era. It's so like, perfect. It's like it's great. Yeah, uh, I think the other than K two and uh, uh, Cassian, I believe that the two that are likely to show up would be Bale and Mon Mothma. Mm-hmm. I feel like those could be your people who are giving Cassian his his missions, and like that would be great. Nobody yeah. nobody would be like, why are they doing that? You know, yeah. those two people are definitely um, head figures in the rebellion, and it would make sense. Yep. And you got actors to play them. Yeah. And everybody would love it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's I think it's totally great. All right, let's move on to Ian McDermott. Like we said, uh, he tweeted out one word and then a question mark, and that one word is Palpatine. With a he just Palpatine. He's just you know what what do you think? What do you think? So 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 <laughs> I want you. I we are going to speculate. Do you think he is talking about this show? Coming up back as Palpatine for the Cassian Andor show. Huh. Since he is the head of the Empire, <laughs> do you think he I would mean, be there? I mean, the timeline would work. The timeline would definitely work. Like, I wouldn't see why he would be in The Mandalorian. Right. But... This could, like, there, you know, this is just one possibility. I'm but just saying, if, this is what would make sense uh, in as far as timeline goes. There is also the possibility of him coming back in some way 
in the saga. Yeah. There have been rumors about him being in episode nine. Right. So, Which I hate and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> never, never, never. This is the Lord Moment thing all over again. <laughs> I, ugh, so, no. okay. So what do you think? What do you think he was saying? Because if he is tweeting out Palpatine question mark, he has obviously talked to Lucasfilm or they have contacted him right. about doing more Palpatine stuff. And this could not be like guys out there, George, JJ, you probably know. Benioff and Weiss, you guys might know as well. <laughs> Um, this could not be Shmi. This could <laughs> this could not be a live action thing. He could be doing something for video game for a video resistance. There, there, there is the uh, the video game, the Jedi video game. Uh, Jedi, uh, I forget what it's called. Um, oh, Johnny. Uh, I don't know. There, there's a video game. Uh, we we talked about the video game uh, oh. where you play the Jedi who escaped Order sixty. Well, the Padawan who escaped Order sixty six, and uh, that he could be uh, doing reprising his role as Palpatine in that. It could be you know Forces of Destiny. Probably not. I don't think so. I don't think he's obviously oh, would, Forces of. He he probably won't be in Resistance. Maybe Clone Wars. That could be a possibility. Oh, yes, maybe. Yeah, that could be a possibility. That's a good one. The dog, I'm sorry, JJ, but our dog is trying to get in our door. <sighs> Stay away. Go away. Go away. We love you, but at this time, we are speculating Go on be with Shmi. Palpatine. No, don't die. <laughs> don't die. She's alive. It, I, I think that um, the three main possibilities, at least in my opinion, would be Clone Wars, Cassie and Andor show, probably second, and then third would be the saga. Saga might be over Cassie and Andor. Who's first? The Clone Wars. Oh, yeah. I, think... I, I don't really want him in the Cassie and Andor. Right. I'm not a big Palpatine it, fan. It, to me, it, would, it, it could make sense. They could do it right yeah. to where he's the big baddie. It's just that, you know, they obviously can't meet. He he would be more like the 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 brains behind of the, obviously the empire. Yeah, they could spin it that way. Um, but I don't like mostly because would, to, I don't know what his name is, and I never Palpatine. get it right. Like he has like twenty five names, right. so I don't want him anywhere. What are they gonna put him on on IMDb yeah. like yeah. Shiv? Or I think that um, no, I think that that is Go probably the least Clone likely. Wars. Um, the saga, there are rumors, there are rumors and you know, if they did it right, if JJ did it right, JJ, you, I know you're listening. If you did it right, I'm all for it. Right. JJ, um, Cause Palpatine don't do it. is, is, don't you know, try. the best, the best villain, I right? Hate him. The best villain. Not great. Um, it, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. If you can do <laughs> it right. I think Clone Wars though, makes the most sense. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'm surprised that, like... Because if he didn't do Clone Wars, who would it be? It would be Witwer. Sam Witwer. Mm-hmm. Could be. I mean, which is fine. He's a great Palpatine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's just Ian McDiarmid. And it's get you know, it gets gets your the wheels in your head turning. The wheels on the bus go around and... Okay. Stop. <laughs> yeah, uh... I think most likely is Clone Wars. I think second most likely would be the Saga films. And then... I'll go with that. And then maybe, like, Cassian would probably be the least likely. And then yeah. everything else after that. You know, the cartoons. I just want Cassian to be, like... His bad guy is the Empire. In the dirt. Yeah, like... They could come up with, like, a new captain or something for him to, you know, go head-to-head. -head. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a, a mini uh, Tarkin. Sure. Would be kind of cool. Agent Callus, almost. That would be fun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that they could create a character like that who is, you know, I'm not never quite be as good as yeah. Oh, yellow. Not quite Tarkin level, but not a dummy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that like Ian McDermott is definitely talking to Lucasfilm though. They are, they are, uh, they are working. Why would he do that? Yeah, they are working on something. Unless he's like, I need a job. Let me do this. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Like, I think, yeah, they're definitely uh, in cahoots. 
cahoots. They're in cahoots to do something. And whenever you get the man, who you know the the man, the man, man, the man, man Sheev himself. When you get Sheev out there, it uh, it you know it turns my head. I w- I want to see what's up. Um, obviously, I think today has been a great episode. I think this week has been a great week for Star Wars news. We didn't literally didn't get a picture. We didn't get no trailers. We didn't get <laughs> nothing. But we got an announcement. We got an announcement, and then someone tweeting one word. You guys, we got an announcement of a Cassian Andor led uh, re- rebellion. That would be awesome. I think rebellion should be the name of the show. Um. It was kind of cheesy, but Star Wars is kind of cheesy. Um, yeah. I mean, The Mandalorian. Yeah. Right. The Rebellion. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm so glad we're getting back to The Rebellion because I hate this resistance yeah. nonsense. Oh, really? No, I mean, like, the names. Oh. Like, just pick one. <laughs> Stick with it. Yeah, I think uh, I think we got some great news. I think it is... I think it's great um, for Cassian to be back. I think it's great that we have a... Latin American, right? Is he or not? He's Mexican. He's from Latin, Mexico. Yeah, he's a Latin led TV show. I think that yeah, no, it's people in there. It's not, and it's not just diversity for diversity's sake. He's a good actor. He's played the role very well, and uh, it, you know, I'm pretty sure he can direct like, his own you, episodes. Like just, just hearing this, they probably haven't put one word down on any form of a script, any outline of a script. It doesn't matter. I already think it's gonna be great. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm there. You have a great Day foundation, one. you know. Do um, you think Dave Filoni like takes an episode? Uh, we'll yeah, talk. We'll, sure. We'll, we'll talk one. about that when we get there. But yeah, uh, hopefully, Ian McDermott is doing something uh, big time. You he know, totally just like. What a great... The, Disney was just like, hey, could you just, like, hype the fans? Exactly. Sure. <laughs> it's like, tease them. He's he's, yeah. he's a good emperor. He's a good emperor. Um, he's a hype man. Yeah. We thank you guys very much out there for watching and listening to the show. And, hey, if you guys have a an opinion on anything that we've talked about today, definitely tell us in the comment section down below. Let us have a cool, uh, fun, fan boy and girl conversation uh please be kind if you have you know any kind of criticisms i don't think you would uh (laughs) for today's topics but hey uh you know let's let's keep it civil let's have a fun discussion on these two topics and uh you know the future of star wars is looking good Mm. looking real good uh, yeah, we thank you again for watching and listening to this episode. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. We, uh, again, have a, have a good rest of your day and may the force be with you. Always.